So I'm going to show you how I uh, wrap the neck. Um, so your dog should be completely brushed and combed out. I already have his front banded because I usually band the head hair and only wrap the neck hair. So things that you'll need, you will need bands of course. These are Laney's wrapping bands. You will need your wraps. Again, these are Laney's um, wraps. These are the long kind. He doesn't really need the long kind yet, but I wanted to use this color. You want a nice um, parting comb. These are really nice because you can use uh, the big section to, to comb, but it's also got the little rat tail on the end. And then you want multiple combs. Nice and big is ideal. And your conditioning spray, whichever spray you like. This is just um, Crown Royal number three. And I think that's it. You can have a brush if you need a brush, but generally you shouldn't need it. I'm gonna use a different color for part of this just because um, I'm gonna cut some of these bands off and I don't like this color as much. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna just lightly smist the um, hair and you're gonna start just behind the ear, making sure you're not getting any ear hair into your, what you're putting up. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna part all the way down the neck um, using your spray as needed to help you hold the hair down. And what you want to do is you want all the long hair that you're wanting to um, wrap to be pushed over um, to the other side and you, you will have the short stuff that you don't want wrapped that just stays down. And you want to try and make sure that you're getting as little of the short stuff in with your long hair as possible because the different lengths of hair can cause um, more matting. So you kind of want just the longer hair here and just the shorter hair down here. So that's not too bad. So as you can see, I've got this line completely parted down. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a couple of my combs and I'm going to slide them in on this side of the part that we have having them lie down nice and smoothly so that there as you can see this is nicely going to hold my part line so I've gone all the way down the neck till kind of his long longer hair stops and then I'm going to do that exact same thing on this side. So I'm going to push the majority of the hair over there, give it a bit of a spray, and then I am going to part it in the exact same way, starting right behind the ear where I stopped banding. And I'm going to just go down the neck taking just the longer stuff and you want to create a straight um, as line as you can so there aren't any extra hairs coming over or anything and you want your dog lying somewhat straight they don't have to be bone straight for this because it's just for maintenance um, but somewhat straight so that your bands aren't all sitting halfway funny down the neck. Okay. So that's looking pretty good. Again, going down to kind of just before my long hair ends. You can see I've got a nice line. And I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to take one of my combs and I'm going to slide it in. And then I'm going to take my next comb and slide it in. And as you can see, that is nicely holding my part line. 
So now both side parts are completely done all the way down to the end of your dog. So now all you need to worry about is parting this hair in the middle um, side to side to get your sections. So what we're going to do is we're going to hold, pick up all the hair that's above the combs. And we're gonna hold that in our one hand so you can see the part there and the part there. And so I'm going to just make a part. I make, you wanna make your sections not too big depending on your dog um, and their coat and that kind of thing. Your sections may be a bit smaller or they might be a little bit bigger. Um, some people actually part the hair down the middle again and have two side sections side by side um, depending on if they're having trouble with matting but for me I'm gonna make kind of a probably one and a half inch part and I'm gonna go from each side part straight across and I'm gonna separate that hair as you can see I've created that part you're gonna go in and you're gonna clean up your line if need be That line looks pretty good. So now I've got this section, which has it was parted already up here from when I did the these bands, and I've got the section parted here. And I'm gonna use a bit of spray to hold the rest of the hair down. I also need to grab a clip. A clip is always a nice thing to have. I'm gonna run my comb through the hair to make sure it's tangle free, and then I'm gonna put a band right close to the base and it's going to be closer than you'd want to kind of normally otherwise band like what I would have done here because we're going to be cutting this off so if it's way up high and you band or you wrap below it it's going to be really hard for you to try and find that um, band to try and cut it out before if you don't like to have bands in your wraps. So I'm going to take a little clip just to hold the hair out of the way. You can, if you're really good at wrapping, you can completely skip putting in these bands down the neck. However, I am not the most coordinated in putting in the bands. And so I like to have that because it helps you squish each section together nice and small so you can more easily wrap the um, band or wrap the wrap around it. So again, I'm going to kind of do one and a half inch section. You want to make them fairly even all the way down. All right, so as you see, I've got a nice section there. I'm going to give it a bit of a spray. If you have another clip, you could hold down this, or you could, if you wanted to, take your comb and just gently place it on top to hold that down. And then we're just going to run the comb through this section. You want to kind of get down to the base as much as you can. Make sure any hair coming from anywhere else is held out of the way. And then you're going to again band right close down. Again wrapping around three times. You don't need to put these on tight because you're just going to be taking them off again later unless you don't mind having the bands in there. Some people find that having the bands in there um, creates more matting and that kind of thing um, and creates more damage so we're going to keep just going down the neck doing exactly that same thing I might just show you a couple more sections my dog is <laughs> very far away from me on the table he keeps scooting off Let's see if I can fix them just remember when you fix your dog don't pull your combs out okay he's a little bit better now um, so again, I've got my nice section here, and I'm going to make sure I run a comb through it, make sure we're tangle free, and then I'm going to stick another band in it. There we go. 
and you know you want them roughly centered but again this is just for maintenance so if you don't get it perfectly centered that's fine so I'm just going to do the rest of the um, back in the same way and then we will come back and I will show you the um, actual wrapping part Okay, so as you can see, I keep him from going too far. As you can see, we have him banded all the way down his uh, neck. And so now we're going to start with the actual wrapping part. So, now these are the long wrapping. Um, plastic wraps but he doesn't really need the long yet I bought it simply for the color which we haven't used white before so we'll see so what I am going to do is I'm going to fold up fold up the bottom to as much as I think that I am going to actually possibly need and I also do this on wraps that are the correct length because I like to um, not have like this sh sharp quote unquote edge at the bottom. So I will usually fold over a little bit at the top anyways. And we're gonna have one of our bands ready. Normally I would, uh, normally I would have one of those in my mouth, but because um, I'm trying to talk, it's just more difficult to do that if I'm having that in my mouth. So, oops, sorry bud. What we're going to do is we're going to just clip the rest of the hair out of the way. The more it's out of your way, it's just the easier it is. So we're going to take our section if you feel that you um, need to. You can run your comb through it again just to be sure that you don't have any tangles in there. Now I am not the best at wrapping. I'm a little bit uncoordinated, but the job that I've been doing has been being effective and keeping tangles away and keeping the hair protected so seems to be doing a good job so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna place the wrap behind the band as low as possible I'm gonna hold that with my thumb this is not the best color to use but um, there you go I'm holding it with my thumb and then I'm just going to wrap it around it can take a little bit of practice but you're just gonna keep wrapping it around and then I run my thumb up inside the band or the wrap to try and tuck everything inside. And you don't have to make this super tight down at the base because that's not what's gonna hold this wrap in place. What's gonna hold this wrap in place is the folding with the hair inside. That's what's going to actually be what holds it in place. So. I have it wrapped up in this little um, sausage. What I'm going to do, again, I'm sorry about the lighting, black dog, white wrap, shouldn't have done that, but anyways, I'm going to fold down the tip just right onto itself. And again, that's just so you're not trying to have those edges against your hair. Once you've folded that down, you're going to fold 
the end down to the base. So now you've got it bent completely in half. And then you're going to fold it. You can either fold it back the same way you did the first time or you can fold it back depending on what you prefer. And you're going to fold it down a second time. And you're going to hold that between your two fingers. You want to get that to show. Between your two fingers. And you're going to take your first band and you're going to put it right at the base, as close to the base as you can get it. That wrap didn't turn out as nice as I'd want, but probably because I'm trying to <laughs> show you what I'm trying to do, so I am going to just redo it. And when you're starting to do this, and I haven't, like, he's just been in wraps for probably the last month or so. Um, and so um, I'm still getting back used to doing it again. So the actual wrap part was fine. It's in a nice little tube. That's great. And I'm going to fold down the tip. I'm going to fold down the tip. Fold it in half right down to the base. And then fold it in half again. Fold at the base. One, two, three. Alright, that's a bit better. So, as you can see, it's just in its little case there. And then we're going to take another band and we're going to go one, two, three up at the top. So if you can see that on both sides, you've got it kind of down at the base, kind of as close as you can down to the base, and again up at the top. Um, now I usually wait to the end to do this, but I'll just show you here. I can see the band at the base because we um, we put that in quite low, and so I'm just going to cut it, and then I'm just going to gently pick the pieces out, and now there isn't a band on there. Again, this is not my best work, but it's a bit hard to um, do it and show you guys at the same time. So we're going to do another one, and hopefully I can do that one a little bit better. So again, you're going to make sure that you have no extra hair cut in this. You want just your banded section itself. And I'm going to take out another wrap. And like I said, don't be afraid to redo them, especially when you're first starting out, because um, it can be tricky. You know, it takes a little bit of of skill, a little bit of coordination with your hands, like it's not something that's just super easy to do. Um, so again, I'm going to place this right at the base. I'm going to fold it around in the front. And then I'm just going to keep wrapping it around. And running my hand up through here, and I just got some hair coming from somewhere, there we go, and again around, and if you find that you've twisted the hair underneath, like if I've twisted it like this, then I just try and find the center, this will just help you to have them all sitting a bit more in a straight line looking a little bit neater. So you're going to make sure that your ends are roughly the same size if you need to just kind of twist them. You're going to lay those just straight down so that it's just not going to sit against your dog. You're going to fold it down so that's sitting right at the base. And you're going to fold it down again. And now you've got this little packet here. And you're going to put this as close as you can down to the base. Alright, that looks a little bit better. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to take another band and wrap it around three times. So now you've got this nice little packet, and um, that's what you're looking for. And you, again, I usually leave this to the end, but you just want to go in here and cut the band out underneath if you don't like bands underneath. And you can that out. And now you don't have a band underneath it there. 
and you're good to go. Now, if you like I said, if you're more coordinated than I am, I can do this, but it usually takes me a few more tries to get it looking super nice. You don't have to put the bands. Do the bands first. I like it because A, it keeps the sections parted, but you could pop them if you wanted to before you went and still have the sections parted, or you can just not have them at all and you can just wrap. If you're, you're good at wrapping, then you can totally do that. Um, so we're gonna take out our next section. I'll show you again now that the lighting for some reason has suddenly decided to be quite agreeable. I'll try and show you one more time. So we're gonna stick it behind. I'm holding it here behind. And you're gonna wrap that over top. You're gonna take Get them behind it, and then you're gonna pick everything up and run your thumb up inside of it, and that just helps to, as you can see, put the hair more inside of it. So again, you just run your fingers up and run your fingers up, and you're gonna work at that until you have it the way that you'd like. You just fiddle with it and you're going to tuck your end in. You're going to fold it forward. Oops. You're going to fold it forward down to the base. And then you're going to fold it either forward or backwards. It really doesn't matter. Down to the base. Again, it's a little bit hard to do it while trying to show the camera. So, fold and fold. Right in. Something's not working. I usually don't have quite so much issues, <laughs> but if something's not working, just try again. It'll take a little bit. Like I said, I've only been doing this, I've probably done this five times now in this last month and I haven't done it since my last dog was cut down two years ago. So it takes a little bit of time to, to re-figure out how to do it exactly. And like I said, I'm already not the most coordinated person in the world. Again, I'm just going to get it back to where was that I like it. Make sure I haven't twisted the hair at the base so that I can get this sitting nicely. Hold it down. And if you have any extra bits sticking out, fold those in. Fold it down. Hold it as far to the base as you can. And stick the band on. Make sure any hair that you might have gotten caught in the band is Pull out of the way and wrap the top of it. So this one is definitely my best one so far here, but this one will work perfectly serviceably well. It's just not quite as pretty. It's not quite as um, um, uniform. Again, you can go in there, just catch the band. You can keep holding on to it if you can. Sometimes you can't depending on how you've got it bent around there. But just pull the band out and that's another one that's good to go. So I will just keep going and complete the rest of the neck so that you guys can see what the finished product looks like.